Okay, here's another example of a word problem that involves rate and distance. And as you will see in a moment, when we read this one, this is kind of tricky and confusing. All right, let's try. It says it takes, oh, how about an S right there? It takes one and a quarter hours more time for Jim traveling at 12 miles per hour to ride two miles farther than Tom, who travels at 60 miles per hour. Wow, I'm already confused. How long in time did each ride? Wow. I think if we draw a little diagram of that, it may make more sense. So let's try that. So let's say that both Tom and Jim travel starting from the same place. So Jim and Tom. So Jim travels at 12 miles per hour. MPH. And uh, Jim travels for one and a quarter hours more. So one and a quarter hours longer. And not only that, Jim travels two miles farther. So let's say Jim travels all the way to here and Tom also only travels to here. So this is two miles farther. Okay, so now we have Tom. Now Tom travels faster. Tom travels 16 miles per hour. And um, not quite as long, for one and a half hours less than Jim. And um, of course, even though Tom travels farther, I mean faster, doesn't quite get as far because he's not riding as long. All right, hopefully that helps a little bit. So now the question is, how are we going to attack this problem? Remember, we had the ways of dealing with it. We can say distance one equals distance two. And at first sight, say, well, we can't really use that methodology because they don't travel the same distance. So maybe we can say, okay, distance one plus distance two equals the total distance. And you say, well, I don't know how far each of them travels, and I don't know what the total distance is either. And of course, we can't forget the general equation that distance equals rate times time. That will always be useful in any methodology that you use to solve these problems. So at first sight, when you look at this and go, well, I'm really stuck here. I don't know where to go. But remember, we are told that Jim travels two miles farther than Tom, which means the distance of Jim plus two miles equals the distance of Tom. That you can do, and that's kind of the same thing as using this, except it may not be exactly the same thing. We could say, all right, the distance of Jim is the distance of Tom plus two miles, because Jim travels two miles farther than Tom. All right, so now we have an equation that's kind of like that first one. Now we can plug in what these things are equal to, and remember that distance equals rate times time. Well, we don't know the time either. Hmm, so maybe what we want to do here as well, say, let x equal the time that the person took, uh, the person that took the smallest amount of time, what is it? Let's see here. Uh, one and a quarter hours more time for Jim compared to Tom, so let x equal the time for Tom. And since Jim took an hour and a quarter longer than Tom, then you can say that x plus one and a quarter hours is equal to the time for Jim. Whoop, that's not looking very good. Time for Jim. Okay, I think now we're ready to make this into an equation. So the distance for Jim would be the rate for Jim times the time for Jim. So where is Jim? Jim is uh, right there travels 12 miles per hour as a rate, and the time for Jim is um, x plus one and a quarter. So rate times time for Jim equals rate times time for Tom plus two. The rate for Jim, 12 miles per hour. The time for Jim, one and a quarter plus x, or x plus one and a quarter, equals the rate for Tom, Tom travels at 16 miles per hour. The time for Tom is x plus 2. 
Wow, we did it. So here we can see that something that looks very complicated at first can actually turn on into a, a relatively simple equation. Again, as long as you make a little diagram, so you can see what's going on. Go to one of your two approaches. In this case, we could see that by adjusting this equation just a little bit, we can use the technique. Realizing that distance equals rate times time, we replace each distance, the distance for Jim by rate times time for Jim, distance for Tom by rate times time for Tom, and then actually plug in what these things are. The rate for Jim is 12 miles per hour, the time for Jim is x plus one and a quarter because it tells us Jim is traveling one and a quarter hours longer than Tom. And then here, the rate for Tom is 16, travels faster. The time for Tom is simply x, the shortest time between the two, and we have our equation. Now we go ahead and solve that. And the first thing we come across is we come across an improper, uh, not, not improper fraction, but a um, mixed number, which we want to turn into an improper fraction. So we have 12 times x plus 5 over 4, because 1 and a quarter, same as 5 over 4, is equal to 16x plus 2. We can now go ahead and multiply this out, because we multiply 12 times 5 fourths. That will cancel out. So 12 times x is 12x. Now, 12 times 5 over 4, 4 goes into 12 three times, so 3 times 5 is 15, equals 16x plus 2. Okay, now we go ahead and move all the terms with x in it to one side. Oh, I forgot my x there. Can't do that. There it is. So I'm going to move all the terms with an x to the left side, everything else to the right side. So I'll move over here. We have a little bit more room. So I have 12x minus 16x, when we move the 16 across and the 15 across there, it becomes a minus 15. Remember, whenever you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. So I have 12x minus 16x equals, we have a 2 on the right side, minus 15, we move the 15 across. Here we go. Now we combine like terms. 12x minus 16x is minus 4x equals 2 minus 15, which is minus 13. Then divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. In this case, that's a minus 4. That cancels out. We have x equals 13 over 4. Of course, 4 goes in 13 three times for the remainder of 1. So we can write x is equal to 3 and a quarter. And since x represented the time for Tom, so Tom travels for a time of 3 hours and a quarter. That's the same as 15 minutes. And then since Jim travels one and a quarter hours longer, we have three and a quarter plus one plus uh, one and a quarter. So that's equal to three and one is four. A quarter and a quarter is a half. So that's equal to four hours and 30 minutes because a half hour is 30 minutes. So Tom travels this long and Jim travels this long. Okay, so that's how you do a problem like that.